This video will provide a general overview of the booking module in Sitka's Evergreen. The booking module is used to create reservations for cataloged and non-cataloged items. Click Administration, select Booking Administration, and select Resource Types. Choose your library from the library dropdown to see your existing resource types. Click on the New Resource Type button. The Resource Type Editor will appear. You can enter a fine amount or a fine interval. You can enter the interbooking and intercirculation interval. This is the time it takes to go between branches if you're transferring your resources between branches. Enter a max fine amount. If you are choosing to enter a fine for your resources, you must enter a fine amount, a fine interval, and a max fine amount. We'll put in $1 for the fine amount, one day, for the fine interval and $10 for the max fine amount. The owning library will be your library and then you will enter the resource type name. I will use camera, digital camera, and then click save. You'll see your new resource type. Click administration select Booking Administration, and select Resources. Enter your, choose your library from the library dropdown to see a list of your existing resources. You can display more rows using the row selector. Remember to save your grid settings. The column headers can be used to sort the resources. To create a new resource, click on New Resource. The resource editor will appear. Enter your resource barcode. If a deposit is required, enter the deposit amount and check the box for deposit required. Enter the owning library. And choose your resource type. This is a digital camera. And click Save your new resource will be listed. Click on Booking and select Create Reservations. Under Reservation Details, use the filters to find a bookable resource. You can choose your resource by type. Use this option to see all of the resources of a specific type. Or you can choose your resource by barcode. Uh, you will use this option if you already know the barcode of the resource you want to reserve. Under reservation type, you will choose whether it is a single day reservation or a multiple day reservation. And use the calendar widget to select your reservation date. The schedule will display the resource availability for the chosen date. Check the boxes to pick a reservation time. You can select the top box to select all day. Click on Create Reservation, and the Confirm Reservation Details pop-up box will appear. You'll need to scan or enter your patron barcode. And you'll confirm or edit your start and end time. The reservation location is the location the resource will be picked up. The resource barcode is already populated because we chose our resource by barcode. Check notify by email if your patron would like to receive an email notification when the resource is ready for pickup. You can enter an optional note. Now you will want to confirm your reservation. You can either confirm the reservation or confirm and show this patron's reservations. Here we can see all the reservations for this patron. If you would like to reserve a cataloged item, but you do not know the item barcode, you may start with a catalog search. Search the catalog for your item. Click the title to open the record summary. Click view beside the barcode to open item status, and then click on actions and select book item now. This will open the create reservation screen. 
Choose the date and time for your reservation. Click Create Reservation. Enter the patron barcode and confirm the reservation. Your reservation will be successfully created. Click Booking, select Pull List. The pull list of reserved resources will appear. Edit the number of days to fetch. For example, if you would like to see only the resources that are needed today, enter one in the box to retrieve a list of resources with reservations that start today. To see reservations farther in the future, enter more days, number of days to fetch. Click on Actions and select Print Pull List to print the pull list. Click Booking, select Capture Resources. Enter the barcode of the resource you would like to capture. You'll see a message saying the capture has succeeded and this item should be routed to the reservation shelf. You can print the capture slip by clicking on the Print button. All reservations must be picked up through the booking module. Click on booking and select pick up reservations. Enter the patron barcode. You can see items ready for pickup in the top of the screen and items already picked up in the bottom of the screen. There's a checkbox here for show only captured resources. If this is checked, you will only see captured resources. If this is unchecked, you will see uncaptured resources. This makes capturing resources an optional step. This checkbox is meant for you to allow patrons to pick up room reservations without having to capture the room. For physical items, we suggest that you continue to use the capture process. Choose the reservation that you would like to pick up and select, click on actions and pick up selected. You can pick up multiple reservations at the same time. You'll see the reservation appears in the already picked up section down at the bottom of the screen. All reservations must be returned through the booking module. Click on booking and select return reservations. You can return a reservation by the patron barcode or by the resource barcode. I'm going to scan my patron barcode and I can see resources that are ready for return will appear at the top of the screen and the resources that have already been returned today will appear at the bottom of the screen. Select the reservation you would like to return. If there are multiples, you can choose multiple, click on actions, and return selected. You'll see that now it moves down to the return today section. Click booking and select manage reservations to open the manage reservation screen. Your library's reservations will be listed here. You can choose to display more rows using the row selector. Remember to save your grid settings. Click on the wheel and select save grid settings. You can filter the reservations. Um, you can filter by patron. You can filter by resource or you can filter by resource type. Um, so if you filter by patron, you can enter the patron barcode. And you'll see all the reservations for that patron. If you filter by resource type, you can see all of the reservations for a specific resource type. To filter by resource, just scan or enter your resource barcode and you will see all the reservations for that particular resource. Select the reservation and then click on the Actions button. You'll see the different actions that you can do for the reservation. You can cancel the reservation, you can edit the reservation, you can return the reservation, uh, you can view the patron record, you can view reservations for this patron, or you can view reservations for this resource. We'll choose Edit Selected. The record editor will op open. We can edit the end time 
or the start time for the reservation, or we can add an optional note. If we make any changes, just click on Save. You can also cancel the reservation, select the reservation, click on Actions, and then choose Cancel Selected. A confirmation cancellation pop-up will appear, click on Confirm, and the reservation will be canceled. To see the full list of reservations, just click on the Remove Filter button. Thank you for watching this video, and for more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.